Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus, a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. Now some common NCLEX questions from our 10,000 question review. First, what is the best action for the nurse to take before administering amoxicillin to a patient with allergies to lefloxacin and ceftriaxone. So guys, the NCLEX wants you to follow nursing process. Always assessment of the patient first, intervention second, and then reassessment. So number one, clarify the order with pharmacy. No guys, we don't do this before assessment of the patient. Option two, ask the patient about the type of reaction they had to ceftriaxone. Yes guys, this is the correct option because cefs and psyllins have the cross sensitivity here, aka allergies. So the NCLEX wants you to do key term, clarify or assess the patient first. In this case, we're assessing the type of reaction. Now the deadly anaphylactic reaction involving respiratory issues is the thing that we're looking for there. Now option three, notify the HCP of the allergy. Guys, not before assessment, we always assess first. And option four, we don't do administer meds. No, we don't do that. Question two, which medication can cause yellow sclera and clay colored stools? Select all that apply. Now guys, the big thing here is liver toxicity. Key term is jaundice. So yellow sclera of the eye or skin and even clay colored stools. Erythromycin and phenazone pyridine. So guys, those are the two ones that are most liver toxic. All the other ones are not as liver toxic. Now, question three, a patient is in sepsis and prescribes several antibiotics during their hospital stay. What patient teaching should be included? See exhibit of list of medications. So guys, levofloxacin and doxycycline, both no sun exposure. And cycling, guys, is not baby safe. Just think about cycling on a bike. It's not safe for pregnant patients. And vancomycin, remember these are myosins, they kill my kidneys, it's my sin to give a myosin. So guys, creatinine over 1.3, bad kidney, urine output 30 mLs per hour or less means the kidneys are in distress. And azithromycin, guys, it throws those QT intervals and throws the liver out of whack. So once we know that, the options are easier. So option one, avoid direct sun exposure, yes. Number two, oral birth control is ineffective. Yes, that's correct. Number three, take until symptoms subside. No guys, a big thing with antibiotics here. We take the entire medication, finish it out or take the full course. And no, we do not stop when we're feeling better. Number four, monitor QT intervals. Yes guys, for that throw myosin, that throws or prolongs those QT intervals. How about number five, supplement with vitamin B6. Guys, no, that's usually for INH, a TB medication. And lastly, number six, monitor creatinine and BUN. Definitely for Venco or any type of myosin, kidneys, guys, gotta monitor those kidney labs. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. Alright guys, see you next time.